Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch it. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, nope, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! It's turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Did you have pen? Start writing these Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural. We've done nothing. Hello! Oh. It's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. 
I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. One moment. You're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. This was one of the test chambers that I had a hard time with for some reason for a while. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. But, you know, like anything, once you uh, remember how to do it, it gets, it gets pretty easy. But my first or second time going through it, I was I struggled on that one for some reason. I kept moving the portals around. Didn't leave that one there. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. 
Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Now I could get this in one video if I had one of those eight. It'd be just one large file, but you know, I'm kind of glad it's separates it. Said. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. So, I'm going to show you here another rat man's hideout. So, this portal right there. And then you jump on this little. Like that. the second one that I know in the game. Smooth Jazz fails. So, pretty cool. He's been eating beans. And also you get an achievement too if you take the radio and put it I think over here on this table or someplace over in this corner, this edge, there's a radio you get, um, which is pretty decent, pretty cool. So now let's head back. Still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. And you also get an achievement if you collect him, that turret, and then put him on one of those dump things. Just so like him in there, the portal, anywhere down here, put a floor over there, take him through. And take him through over there, or even over there. I guess over there would probably be better. So you can put him on that little platform and get an achievement, and or you can put him on there too. It doesn't matter where. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting... Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Hi, Wheatley.
Oh, man. 